Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jack here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a Plex server. So if you don't know what Plex is, Plex is a free, and that's probably the best part of it, way to create your own Netflix for your personal media files. Uh, today we're just going to be using the movie Dracula from 1931 uh, as a demonstration for how to set up this server. So the very first thing we're going to want to do is first off be on the computer we want to set up our server and just go to plex.tv. So go to plex.tv and we're going to go ahead and create an account. Uh, this is very quick and very easy. I already have a Plex server but I'm going to create another account so bear with me. And so now that we've put everything in, we can create our account. And then it's going to take us to the next screen. Uh, from here, we can go ahead and download the application for the server. All right, and so now we've signed in. It goes ahead and it gives us the option to pay. Now what paying does, it allows you to sync your media offline, see trailers and extras. Um, there are live forms. You can do camera uploads, so the photos you take on your phone can back up to your home server, which is awesome. Uh, you can sign up for $5 a month, $40 a year, or $120 for a lifetime subscription. Or you don't. You can just hit that, and nothing is wrong with that. Uh, the only limitation is, unless you're like casting to a Chromecast, you can only watch for a minute on a mobile device. So you're definitely going to want to go ahead um, and at least sign up for premium. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna download the Plex Media Server. Uh, it even works on certain NAS units, so you can go ahead and run it on that, but we're just gonna download the Windows installer because we're running on Windows Server here. An additional thing I've gone ahead uh, prior to the video and did, I went to my Jacktastic share uh, and I created a folder called Plex Media. Come back here. We're just going to go ahead and run the installer. It takes a couple seconds and it automatically notifies you whenever there's an update for Plex. So this is just going to take a moment to install and then we'll be able to sign in to our Plex server. Uh, but anyway, so we can go ahead and we can launch Plex. Um, it's going to go through and make sure there are no updates. We can go ahead and close the browser version. Um, in a moment, it'll actually launch in the browser, I believe. All right, and so now we're going to set up a library. It just takes a moment. Uh, it's starting. You can see down here in the taskbar we have the Plex Media Server. Um, so name is VSVR001. All right, cool. Hit next. Allow me to access media from outside of your house. That is super important. It pretty much automatically port forwards through your house, which is really cool. Uh, I don't need either of these libraries. We're just going to create a library for TV or movies. So it automatically detects everything. So we can hit movies, language, English, browse for media folder. And so I believe it is on the E drive. Yes. All right. So right here, Plex Media, add, add library. Okay. And so it's currently scanning the library uh, for photos, videos, whatever, uh, but we don't have anything in there just yet. So if we go over to movies, which is currently our only library, which we can add another one if we want. So let's say we want to add one for TV shows, we can just go ahead and then search for it. So once again on E, like that, perfect. So now we also have one for TV shows. Uh, so now what we can do is coming over here, I'm going to go ahead and bring this here. Also, uh, if you played Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, Mazoka is this game that's going to be coming out hopefully this year. Looks really cool. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to copy Dracula to our Plex Media folder. Uh, it'll only take a moment to copy. Uh, and then we can go ahead and in here, you just refresh, so scan library files, and it's going to search and it instantly finds the file, Dracula 1931, and it's going to go ahead and it's going to compare the metadata from the movie to that on like IMBD. And just like that, we now have Dracula, it's going to keep updating, and uh, 
in a moment we'll be able to uh, watch this. So just like that, Dracula, 1931, 74 minutes, it's rated G, tells you who it's directed by, who wrote it, the studio that produced it, what format it's in. It's very easy, you can watch on the server or on a desktop. I'm now going to show you guys how to sign into it on a desktop or uh, on another device. So in addition to having the server app, there's also a, another version of the app for desktops. Um, this is my uh, personal server, but I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to sign into uh, a different one. So I'm going to sign out, and I'm going to sign into the one I just made. So now we're signed in, it's going to search for the server, and it finds it, and then we can go ahead, press play, sit back, and relax. So if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you didn't, drop a dislike, and if you really did, tell me why in a comment, and tell me what you'd like to see in a future video. Until next time, peace out.